So just wrapping up the uh, first week, first weekend, I should say, here in Ohio, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's shameful. That, one of the reasons, <coughs> excuse me, one of the reasons why, you know, I always say the need to defund the police is because it's not a politician that's going to enact these mandates. And so this was posted originally by a Jewish deplorable on Twitter. And it says man arrested in Brooklyn, New York, after trying to order uh, food at Panera Bread without a vaccine pass. And what's funny, I'm going to play it, the clip in a second. I'm not going to do too much commentary, but it's always funny when you look at the comments and the comments are always like, well, business cause businesses can do what they want. They, 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 they removed you for trespassing. And it's funny just to see how many people are willing to accept tyranny. It's like when we, what, what does it matter what you choose to base segregation off? If I base it off a person's skin color, if I base it off uh, a religious background, like what does it matter what you base segregation off? Now, of course, people will sit here and be like, hey, private businesses hey, you can do what they want. Private businesses can do what they want. If they want to, if they want to segregate based off of whether you took a vaccine, they can do that because you're trespassing. And it's like, would you have had that same energy? More than likely, you would have. You would have been that guy back in the 50s and in the 40s and then when the, you know when black people were doing sit-ins in all these different places and they were like hey they're getting arrested they're trespassing on somebody's somebody's business right that's all they told them to leave they didn't want to do business with them and they say get up out of here they didn't want to and the police came and packed them up and then it, whether it's based off of sex and it's like this has been around for a very long time. And it's just funny. Like, of course, I'll, I will link this. And you could take a look at some of the some of the different comments that they talk about. Right. Man arrested in NYC for trespassing after being asked to leave for the safety of others. Right. And it's funny because you can just be like, well, these people spread disease. Right. I mean, the Nazis did the same. It's funny. The Nazis did the exact same thing. They looked at the Jews and they were like, oh, these people, they spread disease. They spread typhus. So the Germans, they boycotted. They boycotted their businesses. They burned their business and the police, the police were right there watching the businesses of the Jewish people get burned down. Why? Because they spread disease. It's for your health. Right. And this is why I am a thousand percent against police officers you hear all this rhetoric about back the blue uh you know police serve and protect and it, it's it's all bullshit it's it's there it's there to plant the seed that these people are bene benevolent that these people are doing a great job they're doing a public service but these are the same people that are going to take your rights away when push comes to shove if the government literally were to say, shoot these people, there are going to be a bunch of people that are going to do it. That's just the reality. At the end, will some people shrug their shoulders and say, I'm not down for this? Yes. Will the vast majority of them do it? You bet your ass. If you think that they wouldn't, you're a fool. If you think at the end of the day that when push comes to shove in the certain climate, that if the governments were to just Tell the police officers, shoot this group of Americans. If you don't think they do it, you're crazy. They do it already. They do they do it already. And they just make an excuse. Oh, he reached for you. He, he, I thought he had a weapon. It's me or him, right? And if that's the mentality that they have, that it's me or you when they're out there doing their work, why wouldn't you think when push comes to shove and the governments are enacting tests of loyalty, what makes you think that they're not going to take your rights away? What makes you think that they're not going to take your life away? And this is why the founding fathers gave you a second amendment for the ability for you to protect yourself, the ability and the right to arm yourself, to protect yourself from these very people, because these are the people that the government uses. They use these individuals. They create these laws that are un unconstitutional. And when you push back, it's not the politician. 
that's going to come knocking on your door. It's not the politician that's going to be like, hey, are you checking for vaccine passports? It's going to be the police. And this is going to be what goes on moving forward. You know there's other touch that flag, sir. Give him the flag. That flag does not touch the ground. The funny the part. The flag does not touch the ground. The my favorite part are like all the, the police United officers States. that are not wearing masks. Like this guy right here. Like this guy right here. This one right here. This one right here. This one right here. So the scenario was the guy went in. Obviously, he didn't have his vaccine. Didn't have the passport. <clears throat> still try to order order food. They told him we can't serve you. And then eventually the police come. Or, or I should say the Gestapo show up. No weapons. No cross. No ammo. No weapons. No cross. No ammo. No weapons. No cross. No ammo. No weapons. And as you can see, the vast majority of these police officers don't even have a mask. You can still spread the virus, whether you're vaccinated or not. That's our, that's very much publicly well known. But when push comes to shove, this is going to be you. You don't think this happened? You don't think this happened to the Jews when the Jews were just trying to do business? And they were like, oh, you don't belong in here, right? Your kind don't belong in my, your kind don't belong in my shop. You spread disease. Get out. And you don't think people got upset? Back in the days, talking not even 100 years ago. You don't think that there were certain Jewish people that got upset that they couldn't shop at the local store. Maybe they had a trek farther. They were being discriminated against. They were committing segregation. You don't think that there were German soldiers, German police officers that were there dragging people out. These people, at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, they're not there to serve you. They're there to serve the state. And that's why, you know, you see, even in, even in red states, it doesn't matter. You have to take responsibility for yourself. This all revolves around personal responsibility. You being responsible for your safety. Otherwise, this is what you get. People never thought this was going to happen. Like America? People never thought this was going to happen. In a million years, I don't think people thought that this is what America was going to look like. This is just the beginning. For people think that this is going to get better, that some politician is going to come in and save you, want to come in on a white horse, and they're going to sign some sort of bill, and it's just all going to go away. It's not going to happen. When logic and reason fail among men, the only thing left is And eventually, the men will have to decide how they want to live. Do you want to live your life as a slave? You can. You can bend the knee. It's completely up to you. But it will only, it will follow the path that it did in the past. Especially if you think that this is going to all go away. You take it and we're going to get behind this, right? We're going to go back to normal. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You're going to see more of this and it's going to escalate. Some people are going to get upset. Some people are going to get violent. Some people are going to get shot and killed. And then they're going to crack down even harder. What happened? Land of the free. Home of the Braves. Where you at? People are just like, ah, this is New York. It will come for you. If you think it's not, you're fooling yourself. If you think a Ron DeSantis or an Abbott is going to save you, it's not going to happen. Because when push comes to shove, this is, this is the plan. There is no plan B. There is no plan B for the government. They didn't invest billions of dollars into vaccines and passports so that they can be like, you know what? Let's forget about that. It's not going to happen. There is no plan B. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Most people just don't want to do the thing because they're afraid of 
getting violent. Their people are afraid of losing their lives. And that's why I said in one of my other videos is that people will overwhelmingly vote for slavery. And that freedom is only, there's only a minority of people that truly want to be free. I mean, shoot. The politicians from the past, they were like, when the Britons were like, we're going to enact the, what was it, like a a 1% tea tax? And they were like, time to go to fucking war. They were like, we ain't paying no tax. They threw their shit in the, like, they like, threw it in the ocean. They're like, keep your tea. Time to go to war. And yet, here we are. So far away from, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine the founding fathers being alive. And most of these people were young. Most of these people were young that were ready to go to the war. These people were young. They were in their early 20s. These weren't old men leading the charge. These were young men fighting for their freedom. I like to know what's going to happen for my money. I'm not protesting. I want my food that I ordered. I'm a paying customer with the receipt already. If I don't get my money back, there's going to be a problem here, officer. Thank you very much. Come on. Come on. like the vast majority of them not even wearing masks. And that's why I say, like, when push comes to shove, these people are going to be happy to take your rights away. If it, if it gets them a check at the end of the week, whatever it takes for them to do, they're going to do. It has nothing to do with color, whether they're black or brown or white or Asian, whatever it is, whatever color the individuals are. At the end of the day, it's all about a paycheck. And if your rights get in the way of getting that check, well, then I'm sorry. Right? Just like they say, hey, I'm just following orders. I'm just following orders. People got to make a choice. It's not going away. This is not going away. It's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. And the longer, the longer people take to make a decision, or an, an action is a decision as well. The longer you just sit here and watch and you're like, oh, at least it's not here. It's not in Florida. It's not in Texas. It's not in whatever other state that you think is not going to show up on your doorstep. And then by the time it does, it's too late. By the time it shows up into many of these red states, it'll be too late. Because as people start to get, as time goes by, people's resolve gets whittled down. They start to see people start to compromise. And then the numbers start to diminish until you become a small minority. And then it's just easy to do away with that minority. Keep everybody else a slave. Whatever we got to do to get rid of these people, we do it, right? We'll label them terrorists, right? We'll label them whatever we need to label them so that we can justify doing the thing. That's just how it is. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you had a great weekend. Going to get some rest. And I'll catch you next time.